Hey guildmates, uh, I'm Elle and we are here to walk you through the best adventure of your life. So today's the 30th of July and I just added this new dashboard to your cozy pages. Uh, there are a lot of cozy updates I've made to the whole um, full gamified life RPG as a whole. So if you already bought the full pack before, you can choose to update your existing system with the steps here. So um, these are ideal for moderate to advanced users. So for example, you already have some customizations to your existing system, but you want to use the updates of this new um, system and you want to use them or migrate them to your existing database, then these steps under this um, toggle will be ideal to follow, okay? Or if you want a total reset, for example, you want to start your journey from scratch, you can just duplicate this whole template, the whole tanker room, uh, for example. Um, you can just duplicate the template and archive the one you are using currently for the current users, okay? So you can also uh, use these steps. So you can use these steps if you wish to use the new database but migrate your old data to the new um, system. So this is a recommended step for newbies to moderate users. For example, um, you have not made any changes or customization on your existing template, but would like to use the updated dashboard, so this whole new dashboard, and transfer your existing data to the new template. So this is very much um, ideal for those who want to keep their progress. So for example, you've already completed some quest, you want to keep your coins, um, you wanted to keep all the progress you've made so far, then these are the right steps to follow. So this is all also in the same template, the same page, the Tinker Room. Okay. And then, of course, for our new guildmates, welcome to this cozy, wonderful, and inspiring adventure you're about to embark on. So this video is a walkthrough for the um, for the village dashboard that I call Dream Willow Haven. So I wanted a name that is dreamy, cozy, and just a safe space for us to be in. Um, here is the part where you can see your current town rank. So as you can see, my town rank right now is Jade. Um, these are your notes or announcement section, so to speak. And here on the right side, you can see the um, population, your current population, um, the upcoming birthdays of your characters, and scenarios you need to defeat, how many monsters and scenarios you currently have, and how many you have cleared. So for the town rank, you can level up if you add more characters and if you defeat more monsters or clear more scenarios. I say clear scenarios because I love Omniscient Reader's viewpoint so much. Not the live action though, nope. <laughs> okay, so um, scrolling down, you can see all of these characters, all of these traits, okay? So uh, these characters are already included in the pre-made template, so feel free to delete some of all of them if you don't want um, some of some or all of these um, characters. Now, as you can see, um, they also have different ranks based on their total affinity points. So the higher their points, the higher their ranks. So right now, uh, the character that I have has a mentor rank, so it's not the highest rank that I have in my database. So this is just um, the current um, highest rank that I have based on their total affinity points. Now under these Hall of Heroes, uh, here are or here are some of the characters or the characters here will show up um, once they've cleared some of these scenarios with you. So um, the highest or the higher number of cleared scenarios they have, um, they will appear here on top, okay? So your stats are actually your traits and skills, it's still the same for our um, fellow um, guildmates uh, who have bought the full pack before. It's still the same. You level up and gain XP and coins if you learn something new or if you do quests related to this particular trait or skill. Now going down, as you can see, I added the phrase here. You have reached level 4 of understanding this character. Again, because ORV or Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint is one of my inspiration in creating this template. And going further down, I have uh, a note section where you can bring down all your ideas, all your to-dos, anything goes, really. So here are the quests. So for my fellow old questers, uh, this is the same database with a few tweaks. And one of uh, the tweaks, or some of the tweaks I've made, I will show you later. Um, it's also in the detailed instructions I've showed you earlier. Okay, and now to the meat of the thing. <laughs> so this is my version of a game dungeon, which I call Twilight Cavern. I don't know, it just sounded fancy and cozy, so I called it that. <laughs> okay, so here on the left is your level. Um, when you drop this down, you can see your current level. Um, the current HP and MP stats for your avatar. And on the right side, you can see the monsters and uh, scenarios that you're about to defeat. Okay, so 
how it works is every time you hit strike this button right here it will show you the damage that you've dealt and the damage you've taken so the scenario will be cleared once their hp is depleted okay as you can see here the hp is already at negative one percent so even if the villain still has some mp left the scenario the scenario will still be cleared okay because as you know you know they're dead <laughs> they're dead they no longer have any hp so uh as you can see uh, there's a deadline on when you should clear the scenario the com the quest that you should complete the skill that you should be using use this skill and the companion you want to clear the scenario with uh, the rewards you'll gain and the penalty that you will incur if you fail to defeat this scenario. So as you can see, I've already defeated or cleared this uh, scenario. Um, if you're wondering about the character name, it's just one of the character that I really hated <laughs> in one of the webtoons I was reading. She's one of the villains in I Shall Be the Matriarch webtoon. I really recommend for you to uh, read that. It's actually fun. The female leads are very, very smart and it's also one of the... Um, I also have some of their characters here in this template. So, <laughs> okay, so moving on. Um, as you can see, um, you have the rewards, you have the penalty. I've already cleared the scenario, so of course I already have or gained these items as a reward i have 800 coins and i will be able to have these items for free from my mall you can now claim it for free from your mall so um yeah i love how neat this uh, mechanism works because even in the first version of this gamified template i kept thinking on ways on how to use the mp and the hp bars i have i thought yeah i have full bars of them so what <laughs> so i've never bought a single single hp potion so as you can see <clears throat> these items here i have them since the beginning and now i will have a reason to use them once i am uh, depleted of my own HP, so yay! <laughs> it's basically a first world problem where I have too many coins to spend and I don't know where to spend it. I even downgraded some rewards I received uh, from my quests from earlier because I feel like I get too much. <laughs> so uh, now I added a lot of items to my mall, like gears, spells, I... Uh, oh, as you can see here, I already have this item for free. Now I can discuss that later. I'll show you some of my items from my mall. So I also have affinity gifts and I have upgrades. Yeah. Okay, so for the upgrades, I have them and I can buy them and then give them to any of my favorite character anytime I want. So uh, you can see the stats of the gears. So these are the stats of uh, the, the powers basically of this gear. And um, yeah the power of the spell and you can also see the affinity points uh worth for any of these gifts right so scrolling down uh we can see another brain dump section i honestly just create these things uh these note things to fill up the space but as always you can customize this according to your needs so on this right um these uh this is the navigation section where the database all of the database in this dashboard are here as your quick links I made another tweak to my visual habit streak, so I made it like look like a flower garden where every time I complete a quest habit, a flower appears. So every completed quest is a flower. So the current day looks like a rose that has not been watered yet. So if I've done my quest for the day, it should look like a flower in full bloom. So as you can see, make sure to do. So I haven't done my read quest yet. So the current longest and total streak is still visible here. So the only tweak I've made to the streak is this visuals. Okay. And now we go to our inventory. So this is basically your chest. Um, this is where I keep all the gears, spells, gifts, and upgrades I've bought from the mall. All of them will be saved here once I bought it from there. And then once it's here, I am free to uh, give it to any character I want to increase my affinity with. So for affinity, I can give this, I can choose any character I want to give this to. And then I'll just click on boost affinity. Yeah. So this is just a sample item. So all of this just looks like it's for fun, and mostly it is, but hopefully it will also help you boost your productivity knowing that you're doing a quest with your favorite character. You know, it's like listening to a friendly voice in your head instead of a toxic one, which for me is a big game changer. So um, instead of losing on motivation because of sometimes, you know, um, admittedly, we're kind of prone to self-destruction, we get inspired instead because of these visual cues. And that's the mindset that I suggest to think of these characters as your visual friendly cues instead of doing things on your own you have these companions right by your side so it's like rebranding or redirecting the harmful thoughts in your head to something meaningful and useful 
and playful as well so that it will have um, an additional fun element to it. So now I'll show you in detail how it all works together. On this top part, it's just a notification area. You don't really need to do anything in here. I've named the sections uh, update as needed and no action needed, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Here on townspeople under uh, update as needed, um, all the townspeople added here counts towards your population and you can just update the ranks if you've already added more to the town rank database. But again, you don't really need to update anything from here much. Okay, so now we're going down and we are going to open up one of the character pages. Nothing too complicated. So most of these are just character bio, as you will. So the age, height, birthday. So from which world? Uh, and then their image, so in character description. So um, here in the quest property, you can just add quests you've done or you want to do with this particular character. So for example, uh, like this character, Ferencia Lombardi, Lombard uh, my favorite, one of my favorite female leads who, uh, who's from I Shall Be the Matriarch. She likes to read and I want to read with her, nothing fussy, but I can liter literally uh, do any quest with her. So any, any completed quests will be counted towards the total affinity points. So, so total affinity points, as you can see, is 151. Um, and then each time their affinity points increase, so will their rank, right? Now for your stats and skills, the only way for them to uh, level up is for you to do quests and learn something new. It won't really level up if you clear a scenario using any of these skills. So I got that idea from Genshin Impact where you don't really level up no matter how many times you defeat something. So let's open up a quest page. The tweak I added is uh, where you can choose the companion here in this property. You can choose any companion I added is another fantasy tag, is a fantasy tag, fantasy quest, so that you can distinguish these quests from your real life quest. Okay, so let's close this and on to the main dish. So I keep saying dish, <laughs> it's from ORV because uh, scenarios or stories are like food to the constellations. If you know, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's open up these, uh, these page. So from the dungeon. So I arranged the sections to make them easier to understand. So under the identity is just uh, or just the details about the monster, so scenario, and then subcategory is basically um, how you prioritize this scenario or this monster. And then from this man's monster power, attack points uh, refers to the points they will deduct from your avatar's HP each time you hit strike. Okay, and then magic attack refers to the MP they will deduct from your avatar. So attack is equals to HP and magic attack will be the MP, right? Okay, so monster life force, this is basically the health of this scenario or this monster. So you can enter any numerical value like the monster powers. Under conditions to defeat are merely prerequisites before you clear this scenario. So for example, you have to complete this quest first. You have to choose a weapon. You can add more than one weapon because each weapon has a maximum use, meaning you can't use um, each weapon indefinitely, which will encourage you to buy more gears from your mall or use the ones in your inventory. So if you no longer have any coins left, you will be encouraged to gain more by doing quests. And um, so this is the companion that you will be fighting with, but you have to reach a certain affinity level with them before you can fight with them, which may in turn will make you buy gifts from your mall to give them, or you can do more quests with, that partic with this particular character, or you can just simply use or choose another character. And then you can choose which skill you want to use in this scenario and then set the required level and then you have to reach that level of that skill before you can use it. So it will encourage you to learn something new or do more quests related to that skill that will reach that particular level that you set. So deadline just means you set a date for yourself to achieve conditions above, which you can change anytime or you can just leave it cleared. In a nutshell, these are also conditions for your own real-life growth, if you notice. And this setup will hopefully make it fun for you to try and achieve your goals. Okay, so now let's collapse this and then let's explore the rewards for clearing. So you can add any item from your mall as a rewards and then set up a number value for your coins. Uh, it's the same thing for your penalty, so number values for XP and coins. Once you clear the scenario, meaning the HP is zero or negative in number, your rewards will now appear as free in your mall. So let me show you how it will look like in your mall. So I think... Uh, it's in the spell. So yeah, as you can see, it's already for free. So you can buy this without um, 
any deductions in your coins okay as you can see i've defeated it today and the scenario is already cleared but what happens if i fail to clear the scenario on time here let me show you another character as you can see she has a full hp okay let's change the deadline so you can see the rewards and the penalty here what if i change the deadline so for example um i would change the date to 29 as you can see they are crossed out the rewards and then i've uh, lost 3,000 XP and 1,000 coins, unfortunately. I will no longer be able to claim any of these items, as you can see. In order for me to change this, I can just clear it. You can just clear it or change the date. Okay, as you can see, it's still here, right? So I can just basically push this back and forth. <laughs> what happens if I clear the scenario past the deadline? As you can see here, I've already cleared the scenario. What happens if I change the deadline? So basically, I'm late in clearing this scenario. So for example, I will change this date. So this is the status of my rewards for now. The penalty has gone since I've already cleared this scenario. However, if I clear the scenario late, if I change the date, as you can see, it's no longer available. But I don't have any penalty because after all, I still cleared it, but I was just late. <laughs> okay, so I can just change the date for this since I've already cleared it and it will go back to the same thing right okay so anytime you wanted to clear scenarios make sure that the date is um for further than the current date or you can just leave this cleared honestly <laughs> okay so and then we can go to visit our inventory now here's how the inventory looks like right now so you can change anything from its original value after you bought from the mall so here's how it works um whether it's a gear spell upgrade or infinity affinity gift under powers though uh these are the um basically the stats of your weapon so attack is equal to hp so basically every time i strike a monster i will deduct 200 points from their hp each time so the defense or death refers to my avatar's hp uh, so every time the villain strikes back for example he has an attack power of 100 he should be able to deduct 100 from my hp because this is blank so i don't have any defense i don't have any protection but if i have a number value here for example 80 okay and the monster has a 100 attack power right um every time the villain strikes back if he has an attack power of 100 he should be able to deduct only 20 hp points because 100 minus 80 is 20. so um instead of getting the full 100 points damage i only get 20 because i have um basically this death protects my hp right so so if i have a number value here i can attack the MP of the villain or the scenario. So max number of hits is just the maximum number I can use this particular weapon to strike the villain with. So if I run out of max hits, I can just add more weapons or spells or upgrades to the fight, which will give me more max hits and other power stats too. Okay, so for affinity gifts, I can choose whoever companion I want to increase my affinity with and cl click on boost affinity. So this is how it looks like currently in your gallery. So I can just edit the person here and then I can just click on boost affinity. Okay, so you can change the affection number here, which will be added to the affinity points that your character currently has. So that's it, fellow guildmates. I hope it's not like an info overload for you, but even if it is, you know, you'll pretty much get the hang of it soon enough. And once you do, I really hope with all my heart and soul that all of these challenging but fun adventures help in some way in achieving your desired growth. So this is after all the point of creating this template, which is to gamify your life. I want you to reach a certain point in your life where you'll think to yourself that you never realized how far you've come because all of the things you did to reach that point didn't really feel like chores. They didn't feel as heavy as they were before and they didn't feel like a huge sacrifice on your part. So creating a soft, cozy structure to build your life is something I'm really passionate about. But I admit getting to that point also required a bit of heavy lifting at the beginning. But I realized eventually all the heavy lifting became worth it. And I hope this pretty and functional dashboard help you get to that ideal headspace where contentment and peace is abundant within yourself. So thank you so much again. Let me know which part excited and inspired you the most and see you on my next cozy video.